Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to talk about grass-fed meat. And we'll find out where's the beef right, right after, after this. this. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today we're talking about grass-fed beef what are the different benefits to it and are the benefits worth the investment yeah because there's a lot of different labels when you go to the grocery store looking at different types of ground beef you're going to see products that are labeled organic you're going to see them where they're labeled just pasture raised you're going to see grass-fed and then you're going to see either 100% grass-fed or grass-fed slash grass finished and on the outside the only thing that you see that's different is the price. Right. And it is significant sometimes, the differences. Right. So before we even get into what all the benefits are, let's talk about some of the difference between the different ones. Mm -hmm. Because the first one that we all are just commonly used to is when you go into like Walmart and you buy the little tub that's like $2. That is just like, you know, commercially raised cow. Like they're usually given a lot of antibiotics and hormones. They're all packed into areas. They're usually fed like GMO feed, like grains, soy, corn, things like that. Stuff to just fatten them up. Yep. And then the next level is organic. Right. Then you're going to get into organic. Now, organic does not mean that it's grass fed. No. It used to be, though, like the fancy pants version of meat, right? That used right. to be like the highest quality you could find was something labeled organic. And that really just has to do with the feed that they're given. Well, the feed that they're given, like they, if it's to be labeled organic, it can't have any hormones. It can't be given any like antibiotics or anything like that. And it's got to be raised on lands that are not treated with pesticides. But that doesn't mean that that beef is being fed only grass. It could also be fed grain. It just means that the grains are also organic. Well, that brings us to the next one. The next level is grass fed. Right. Now, here's the thing. In the United States, there's no regulation for like being grass fed. In order for them to label like a package, for example, like this, where it says grass fed, the animal just has to have been given grass sometime in its life. So Tabitha has been given a hot dog yes. in her lifetime, but I would not call her hot dog fed. Right. Right? Like that's not her normal diet, but she has had a hot dog, so I could label her hot dog fed. Right. But she's not, like that's not everything she's eating. And it's the same thing with the cows. That's not everything they're eating when it just says grass fed. Right. Now, it's important to note though, I mean, it to me at least, in my personal opinion, it is a step above just buying the $1.99 stuff where it's being fed nothing but, you know, all of like the soy and corn and things like that. But it doesn't mean that it's 100% grass fed because yeah. a lot of times what they do is they'll feed it grass for part of their lives and then what they'll do is the last couple months of the cow's life, they'll bring it into the house and they'll start feeding a grain to fatten it up. Not not the farmer's house. I don't no. think they I don't think they come into the kitchen and he makes them like a guest bedroom. Well, I was just trying to not say slaughterhouse. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like that word. But yeah, um, and I would say that usually when you've got that grass fed packaging and they're going that extra level, you've got more humanely treated animals. Yep. So if that's something that's important to you, that's probably where you're getting a little bit more humanely treated right. animals. So what you really want to look for when it comes to grass-fed, if you are going to use grass-fed, is you want to find labels that say 100% grass-fed or grass-fed slash grass-finished. That means that throughout their lifetime, they have been eating this way. This right. isn't just a one-time hot dog deal. This is their actual diet. Right. Now, one of the things a lot of people ask is like, well, how is the cow given grass during like, for example, the winter times when like they're not able to just go out onto the pastures and eat grass because maybe it's covered with snow. And what it is, is they're fed alfalfa. 
and that constitutes as a grass. But they are 100% grass fed. They're not being given grains and corn and things like that. And then again, you're talking much more humanely treated animals. Right. Now, there are like a lot of different prices when it comes to this stuff. I mean, you'll see grass fed meat as much as $10 a pound, and you see it as, as low as $5.99 a pound. We, a lot of times we get ours in Aldi, or we'll get ours um, at Winn Dixie or at Whole Foods when it's on sale. Now, for example, we got this package came from Lucky's. But one thing you'll notice, this says organic ground beef. It does say grass fed. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on that uh, camera, but it does not say 100% grass fed. So I don't know if this happens to be 100% grass fed or if it just is like, you know, partially grass fed and partially grain fed. And it was interesting. We actually looked up the company and instead of it like being connected with Lucky's, it was actually connected with Kroger. Yeah comes up on their website yep, because this is from a company called simple truth organic and it doesn't say that it's 100 percent in anywhere right on, on their site so you can't be certain and trust me for the most part when somebody is paying the extra money to get 100 percent grass-fed grass-finished beef they put that on everything they they label it to the hilt because they want you to know what it is so chances are if they're not like Proclaiming it, it's not 100% grass-fed. Right. Now, whereas this one came from Winn-Dixie or SE Grocers, and this does say 100% grass-fed. So let's talk about five benefits of eating grass-fed beef. But before we do, let's make sure we're clear. We do not believe that you have to eat 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef in order to be part of the keto lifestyle. Like Absolutely. It's, like it's a requirement to be in keto. You right. Know, it is not, and we don't believe that. No. I mean, in fact, we don't eat like grass-fed, grass-finished beef all the time time we eat it whenever we can get it on sale because we are all about the sale and we are noticing that like the longer we're in this keto lifestyle the prices are coming down on right. these better quality products so yeah it used to be you couldn't get grass-fed grass-finished beef that you know less than eleven dollars ten dollars a pound and now there's plenty of times that we run into it. It's under five dollars a pound. You can get it for three ninety nine, four ninety nine, five ninety nine a pound. You can even get it like deals. Like I have a link down in the description right now for like Butcher Box, where you can get like lifetime supply of grass fed, grass finished beef for free when you subscribe to one of their boxes. So now it might be reasonable to consider it. Yeah. And so we wanted to present to you like some of the health benefits that we've been enjoying since we started kind of making that trans yep. like that transfer. Okay, so we're gonna do a countdown like five to one. A beefy countdown. So number five, beef from grass-fed cows is going to be higher in a beneficial fatty acid called CLAs. Or conjugated linoleic acid. Now CLAs have been shown to uh, help with obesity uh, prevent certain diseases, and even helps with diabetes. And there's actually more electrolytes associated yep. with it. Yep, beef from grass-fed cows are generally higher in electrolytes. It has like, like I think like six ounces of a beef steak from a grass-fed, grass-finished steak uh, beef has like 786 milligrams of potassium. Wow. Which is like almost a quarter of what you need for the day. That's amazing. In addition, it's gonna be higher in beta carotene. Number four, grass-fed beef has up to six times more omega-3 fatty acids than grain-fed beef. Yeah, as a matter of fact, grain-fed beef has like a really high ratio of omega-6 to omega-3, and we're already getting omega-6 in like way too much of a surplus in our diet. You really wanna get your omega-3 to omega-6 ratio like almost one to one, and that is really difficult. That's why it's so important to eat things like salmon or like cod liver or using cod liver oil to try to balance that out a little bit more. So if you can start eating grass-fed uh, beef, that's gonna help bring those omega-3s up and the omega-6s down. It all helps. So number three, and you're gonna like this one, grass-fed beef tends to have less calories than grain-fed beef. Which means I can have a way bigger amount. Yeah, as a matter of fact, like a six ounce piece of grass-fed steak has about 100 calories less than a grain-fed piece. So bring on the giant ribeye. So number two, they have healthier fat. Absolutely, I mean, the bottom line is, is like, you think about like all of the chemicals that we ingest, all of the hormones, the antibiotics, that all get stored in our fat. And the same thing happens with a cow. So if you're eating a grass-fed, grass-finished cow that's not being fed like all of the antibiotics, all the hormones, hormones, all of the soy products, all of that GMO, it's not making its way into the fat. And then when we're eating it, 
we're getting a healthier fat source from them. Yeah, I mean, we have to be more sensitive to it than any other diet because we are keeping the fat on when right. we eat a steak, right? Because that's part of our calories. You know, we want the fat. So you're eating the fat. So let's make sure we're not eating hormone soy laden fat. Right, now along with that, if you aren't going to eat grass fed, and I know this is something that we have started doing as well, if we're not going to buy the grass fed grass finished, we started buying the leaner cuts of beef and then we add our own fats because since all of those chemicals and the hormones, the antibiotics, the GMO is stored in the fat, I've been starting to buy like the 90% ground beef and then adding in my own healthier fats because now I know the quality of the fat I'm getting. Yeah. So number one, and this is the best reason of all, the bottom line is it, it tastes, tastes better. better. Yeah, when it comes to grass-fed, grass-finished beef, just like the eggs, when you compare the 99-cent eggs to the pasture-raised free-range eggs, you know, there's a huge difference in taste and color. When it comes to grass-fed, grass-finished beef, there is a significant difference in the taste and the color and the texture of it. Absolutely, and you know, just like we we started this, this countdown, we're gonna end this countdown with, you don't have to do this. This is not a requirement for keto, but we right. do like encourage you to do a taste test for yourself, right? right? Buy your regular hamburger that you're used to purchasing, and then buy the grass-fed, grass-finished hamburger, and then try them at the same time and see if you don't see a significant significant taste difference. Same for the steak. Man, we tried it ourselves. We bought a, a regular steak where we've always been purchasing the steak. And then just as like a treat, Joe went out and got some grass finished um, steak. And wow, it was like night and day. Yeah, and again, we are super cheap people. So like I was only even buying ribeye before when I could get it for like $6.99. But just one time I wanted to treat Rachel and I got her grass fed, grass finished from Whole Foods. It was like $13 a pound and it was on sale. And now we've made the decision, you know what? I would rather eat one of those like maybe once a month and split it between the two of us than eat once a week getting ribeye from just like the local grocery store because the taste difference was so different. I mean, it was like eating butter just melted in your mouth. And maybe if you're used to saying like, hey, we get a fancy steak at a restaurant once a month, maybe switch and get that steak at home. Because the fact of the matter is, you don't know if you're getting a grain-fed steak or a grass-fed finished steak right you know when you go out to eat so be certain eat it at home you're gonna pay like maybe a you know a restaurant price but you're going to know what you're getting and it's gonna be delicious trust me right absolutely now the bottom line is like we've said we several times throughout the entire video like this is absolutely not a requirement on keto but we also believe that keto is all about improving our health and as we move along in improving our health and cutting out more of like the processed foods, cutting out more of the garbage, the potato chips, the things like that we were eating, you will find that you have a little bit of extra money in your food budget to buy higher quality foods. And the bottom line is it comes down to not only are you what you eat, but you're what, what you, you eat, eat eats. So if you're eating an animal that is eating a bunch of garbage, you in turn are eating that garbage as well. Yeah. So if you can at all afford it, the benefits to eating like grass fed, grass finished beef or the benefits to eating pasture raised eggs or like, you know, grass fed like cow milk or cheese, mm -hmm. like they're huge benefits and you definitely want to invest in it if you at all can. Because for us, the keto lifestyle is not just for weight loss, it's also for the health benefits. So yep. it's just like how we've worked out a lot of the um, inflammatory oils. Yes. And so we were paying, you know, more money for the oils that we're, that we're purchasing and that we're cooking in. However, we're feeling a lot better. Yeah. And it's going to be the same thing with the meat, you know, and the eggs. You're going to feel better. You're not going to have so much inflammation because like, like you're saying, you know, what we eat, eats, it matters. Absolutely. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section, like if you're currently using grass-fed beef and if you are, like where do you get it from? Are you getting it from Butcher Box or someplace like US Wellness Meat or are you getting it from your local butcher or are you somehow blessed and you like are raising your own cows? Cause that's what we want to do. And and do you have a room that we can rent and, and live with you? That would be stinking awesome, right? Also let us know down in the comment section if there's any other topics like this that you would like us to discuss and maybe get our take on it. Yeah. So if you guys like what you saw today, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.